Okay, traders, today is Wednesday night. This video is for trading on Thursday, June 7th, 2012. And this is video number 875. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. And here we are looking at a live chart of the E-mini S&P. Traders, as we know, futures trading can be extremely risky and cause substantial financial loss. We do not trade commodities if we do not understand the risks behind trading. If you do not place your stops first and you do not recognize that futures trading is not for every trading account, you should not be trading at all. But for you traders that understand the risks, look at the chart before your eyes. You are in a huge parallel channel. As of today, we got above that parallel channel trend line. In last night's video, I, I basically showed you that I thought we'd get up to this trend line while we've gotten above it and looks like it's going to spend Thursday moving a little higher. So imagine that the E-mini S&P moves up for two days, but big, big second day and starts off on Wednesday night into Thursday above the resistance and moving higher. Jumped above the resistance in the E-mini S&P. The big bear flag did work. We came all the way down to the 200 ball moving average. Since then, we've had a, a couple of rally days, but look at us now above the resistance. That is interesting. There's your S&P for trading on Thursday, June 7th. Let's look at another chart. Traders, your NASDAQ chart. Once again, you had the big bear flag, came down, hit the 200 ball moving average exactly, and then took off. Well, it's up to the major resistance as of this filming right now as i'm speaking to you we are hitting the major resistance it looks like it'll take that resistance out for at least one more day and move higher if you base it upon the s p chart i just showed you and the chart of the dow transportation average you're about to see next let's look at the training Okay, traders, the Dow Jones Transportation Average, the leader of U.S. indices, which clearly has claimed its leadership posture back from the NASDAQ a few weeks ago and has once again been leading the U.S. indices. It has a target tomorrow of 5085 to 5100. That moves us up almost 100 points in the tranny. I believe the tranny takes the NASDAQ and the S&P with it as it approaches its target. So that's why, one of the reasons why we expect U.S. indices to move higher on Thursday. The leader is going to go up and fulfill its target. We'll take the followers, NASDAQ and S&P with it. If you look at indicators, a host of indicators are quite bullish right now. Stochastics, very nice turn and looking bullish as of Wednesday's close for trading Thursday. You have your commodity channel index or your CCI looking wonderful here. Bullish for at least one more day. You have a relative strength index looking nice and strong. And then, of course, down at the bottom, you have your ADX, average directional movement. When the green points at the red, you have a nice strong look there as well. So our indicators are looking strong for another day up on Thursday. The chart is calling for the same. Let's look at a couple of more charts here. The Dow Jones Industrial Average traders, look at that. It got right to the resistance. But remember, this stops trading at 4 o'clock p.m. OST. It is not trading in the evening, where in the evening session, if you were in the S&P, it's been holding right here and moving higher. So where we stopped trading on Wednesday afternoon is just a tad above. If you look closely, we are above the resistance and likely another day higher following the tranny, moving up to the 12,600 area, if not a little higher. That's what we're expecting out of the Dow Jones Industrial Average on Thursday. Let's go look at another one of the leaders, which would be the Russell 2000 traders. Look at the Russell on Wednesday, closed right at the resistance on Wednesday night for Thursday's trading has opened up and is starting to move higher. We've had the bear flag and the breakdown through the 200 ball moving average. Now we're above resistance, so the likelihood is we at least test the 777 area tomorrow. Right now trading at 768, we test the 777 area and then maybe go as high as 787. That is for your Russell on trading for Thursday, June 7th. Let's go look at another chart here, traders. We're not done. 
the leader out of Germany, the DAX. It has a target up here now of a, somewhere between 6280 and 6300. That's where we should go next based upon the resistance line here and looking at what the other leaders are doing. You had your bear flags. They did break down. Now we are moving higher and this likely target will be hit most likely Thursday into Friday. So there is your DAX showing you that even Europe wants to go up for at least one more day. Then we have U.S. bonds. The wild card in the group, traders, the U.S. bonds, these are all daily bar charts that we're looking at. U.S. T bonds came down near the support, have not hit the support yet. What we would expect out of Thursday's trading is the market to drop down through that support, at least testing it. As the bonds test the support and move lower, should push the S&P higher through its resistance. That is what we're expecting to happen on Thursday in the bonds. Traders, do not forget the big picture here. Right now, we're looking at the S&P, the one that we like to trade every day. It is above this downward channel right here. It is moving higher and will likely move up at least one more day, trying to hit the 1330s. That should be something that happens today on Thursday. Traders, as we know, this could change moment to moment because the way the markets have been lately with the lack of liquidity, with the fact that we do not have banks in their prop trading any longer, they've taken the meat of the markets out of the market, they've taken the market makers out, and have left these markets to very, very volatile movement. We are susceptible to volatility now like we've never seen before. That means our ranges will increase, our stops must increase, Nothing we can do but morph with the markets. If they change the rules on us, we have to morph with those new rules. So we do expect greater volatility now that there aren't as many traders in the market midday. Banks are prop traders. Banks are the big market makers. They've been told they can't make markets. We're stuck in these thin markets now. It is what it is. We have to deal with it. Here we are in the S&P. Don't forget, we are looking for higher for trading on Thursday. Traders, I hope this video helped to keep you in tune with where markets might be going next. Come on down to livewithoscar.com. Join me in my free trading rooms and allow me to help teach you the art of technical analysis. Remember, traders, always keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.